I don't know why, introductions are really awkward for me. It's almost like handshakes, so I'm just not even gonna do one because it makes me really anxious. So anyways, it's been a hot minute since I've done a video. It's been quarantine life over here, clearly. And I also have a bug bite on my face, go figure. Um, but quarantine has made me do some really weird things. One of them that's not weird, but I got a little obsessive with was plants. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of indoor plants now. I mean, I already had two to start with, but I have more now. And I also have a patio garden. So I wanted to show everybody my insaneness that has taken over. Anyways, that, that's it. That's the story. So let's look at my quarantine garden and indoor houseplants. Okay, so we'll start over here. It's to the right of my table. We have succulent leaves that I'm propagating, which I guess isn't really technically a houseplant, but if you're wondering why this ugliness is here, that's why. I also got very obsessive and I got a moisture meter because some of these strip plants um, stress me out. So you can go from moisture, pH, light, but I just use it for moisture. And if it goes into that red zone, I water it. Easy peasy. Amazon find, I'll link it down below. This guy is a black elephant ear. Um, I don't know what's going on with him. He's he's getting, I think he's maybe he's dry. I don't really know. But I saved him. He was in this big, look how big this, this one leaf is. I had to cut a lot of his leaves off because they looked sunburned. And it, But the thing is, the sunburn almost looks like this. It just... Whatever it is, it spreads so easy, and I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it's not blight, but it's happy, so we'll see. But it was so, it's so pretty. This light doesn't capture it, but it's like a purpley black plant. Ugh. But I put him in here so he doesn't stays out of the sun. Um, but yeah, I got him in this huge planter, like a 16, you no, know, like over 20 inch planter that had flowers in it, and I just yuck, pulled that bad guy out. Um, and planted him in here because they gave me the whole planter for five bucks. So, you know, why not? Anyways, then we go over here. This is where I rotate plants that maybe need more attention because they're in front of me. But then we have this guy. This is one of my first house plants. I've had him for three years now. He's huge. I put him in this 10 inch planter that I got off Amazon again. You will need, a, <clears throat> excuse me, a, what is this? A tray for the water because uh, there's really big holes at the bottom of this. The goal, I want to show you guys him compared to the lamp the goal is to get him into a very tall house plant and that's why i repotted him in such a big plant he'll be in here for a really really long time um probably until he gets even bigger but yeah he he loves it i put him in the darker corner because he can do with less light and he can chill here and have a great time we have little babies coming out over here so he's happy this is a sansevieria sansevieria or is it sansevieria I think it's Sansevieria. It's a snake plant. That's all you need to know. You can get these at Home Depot. Very cute. And then we go over here. This is where Chris works. It's a drafting table. Um, but this is where I have a couple of my other plants. This one right here, if you can see, it's a money tree plant. And another one of my first ones, you can get this again at like Home Depot. It's so cheap. It you Usually you braid them. <laughs> Like, you would braid these branches, but I like how it's getting, like, bushy. So I'm just going to leave it. It also canopies over these, this guy, which he's not supposed to take direct sunlight. This is an um, Alocasia Amazonica. Amazonica, can't say it. Or a Poly. Either of the two. It's the same thing. You can. I've seen these at Home Depot, but I bought this off of a seller on Etsy. She's so sweet. Um, and it's really happy. Look at the little leaf that's unfurly. I'm so excited for him. He looks like he's gonna be thick and juicy. Um, I'll link her shop down below. She's so cute. She's from Colorado. And this is where I got this one from. And this one I, I thought was gonna have a hard time. It likes humidity, but it's actually like the easiest one out of the two I got from her. The other one, you'll see it's not doing too hot. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, so I'm just gonna have to figure it out. Anyways. <laughs> and then up here, I'll put you in this is a like kind of like a vining plant this is a silvery ann uh syndactopus i think is how you say it i don't know but these ones have thick leaves and in the sunlight uh if you i'll like i'll link my um instagram where i post all my plants at yeah i'm that obsessed guys and you can see how like 
glittery it looks in the sun, but I just put it in this little hanging plant um, holder until it gets bigger. And then once it grows bigger, I'll put it in a bigger one, but I'm not really in a rush. I kind of want to just see how it does in this window. This window right here is west facing, so it does get a lot of direct light in the late afternoon. But that's why I have him here, because he kind of filters everything down so she doesn't get sunburned. Um, but yeah, those are the plants here that hang, and I will whoop, show you guys what it looks like. It's really cute. I like this corner. And then let me show you the plant that's not doing too hot. I have it over here because um, it needs to focus on growing. So this is a philodendron mycan. It's like a velvety leaf uh, vining plant, kind of like the silver ant I just showed you. And I got it as like a little seedling from the same Colorado one, but I don't know. Hold on. It's like, hold on. The lighting on this is like freaking out. I don't know why. Hold on. Okay, that's better. It's a velvet leaf philodendron pretty much and it has a new little seedling coming out. If I go this way, there we go. It has a new little seedling coming out, but the thing is I really, I already killed one leaf. I don't know if it was shock from being transplanted into this different soil and everything. And then I thought maybe I overwatered it, so I stopped watering it, and then it was like bone dry, and I was like, okay, I definitely, it's underwatered. So I left for a couple of days to go to the river, and I just bottom watered it in this thing, and it like perked up. Like, it wasn't like this when I left. It was like leaning on this thing, but now the leaves are curled. I don't know. I, I don't know, and then this doesn't seem like it's, it's like going anywhere. Like, it doesn't seem like it's doing too much. So I really don't know. It's frustrating. Let me know down below what the fuck I'm doing wrong, honestly. Okay, so now, oops. We're gonna go on to my little cuties. Hold on, I'm trying to, there we go. Um, we have succulents here, I repotted this one. Um, but this is like a little succulent planter I've had for the longest, longest, longest time. And it was like super bushy and full. Again, you can go on, um, the, the Instagram page I had and you can see how like fluffy and full it was but I just repotted it and now I can re pretty much retake that whole thing and then over here this is Tom this is a um, cherry tomato it's a husky cherry tomato plant and you can see he's kicking it he's like in the sun um, easy peasy to do tomato plants this is a dwarf variety so it will get really tall but it won't get it's permit for containers like it's not gonna take over your whole um garden i guess pot and then over here we have i'm assuming these are slower growers this is just like a regular red bell pepper um i have a steak ready for him when he gets bigger but um i'm not really sure his stem did start getting black so that tells me that he might start flowering soon um, but he's, uh, he's just kicking it. I mean, he's doing all right. Honestly, he's just doing all right. And then, this is spinach. That's all it is. A little spinach garden, that's it. And then we have, this is gonna be, I have a, a white euphoria coming and it's gonna have these little cacti in here because it, I don't know thought it'd be cute cute huh so I'm replanting this today and then we have more succulents this is a new planter as well not new but I repotted it we have a little baby's necklace I added and then I just have basically just replanted what I have and then those are all my extra cuttings I'm giving a friend it's full I don't know if you can see it's full of cuttings so hopefully those will still be good by friday and then this one is in another 10 inch pot huge again you will need a tray underneath it it doesn't because i don't water this often and then i just have a an aloe and he's blooming well he was blooming he's kind of dead now <laughs> but yeah so yeah, we got another bloom right here super cute cilantro Jalapeno. I don't know what's going on with him. He keeps turning yellow leaves. But another little plant. 
then we have basil and rosemary. So that's that one. And then you have her. She loves sunbathing. Huh, Mish? Misha. Misha. Do you love sunbathing? But yeah, this is kind of like what it looks like out here. Super duper cute. Okay, but yeah, that was like a quick rundown of my little quarantine gar garden. If I sounded quiet outside, it's because um, I feel weird recording plants. And <laughs> it makes me really nervous to like if people are watching me like look at this bitch recording plants like <laughs> that'd be <laughs> that'd be crazy anyways i showed the little cacti outside that i just got today um i got them from lowe's and i haven't planted them is because i actually have a white white dragon white ghost white ghost dragon it's a euphoria it's editing shelby here i'm realizing now that i keep calling it euphoria and uh definitely not that bitch it's called euphorbia so ignore everything i've said until then it's a euphorbia not euphoria technically not a cacti it's like a succulent type of thing um that's coming in it's really pretty i'll link a picture i'll show a picture right here and i'll link the shot below i'll link everything where i got it down below um yeah, I'll leave it all down below so you guys can see it if you're interested in. But that's coming in today, and it'll probably come in later this afternoon, and then I'll repot them all in that thing. So that's basically what I've been doing during quarantine. I've been obsessing over my plants, and my boyfriend says it's getting a little out of hand. He doesn't know about the cacti I just got, but I don't think he'll notice because it's outside. You know what I mean? I can't figure out that black elephant ear right now. So if you guys know anything about what's going on with that leaf, let me know. Same with the jalapeno. I didn't want to keep saying it because somebody was running by. And making me feel really awkward um my jalapeno plant all the leaves at the bottom are slowly dropping as they turn yellow and i think it's a nitrogen defense like a not, not nitrogen per se but it's like a nutrient there we nutrient deficiency and the problem i'm running into is like i just watered it it's in a plastic container and it's also being bottom fed so oh i just i just thought of an epiphany it's being it has a bottom feeder in it so we can pull up everything so it's already really wet so I don't want to keep watering it but I guess I could put the fertilizer in the bottom huh or would it go bad I don't know again plant people tell me below what is my you saw the jalapeno what is his problem he has a flower he has one flower but I don't know maybe he's too close to the other one that's how I got it from Home Depot though like those two plants together so I don't know I don't know you tell me Maybe one of these videos, like, coming up, I'll look put together, but I think this is my fourth video in a row where I'm just chilling. I'm living, I'm living the real life. So let me know down below if you guys started a patio garden or if you started collecting indoor plants or what have you been doing during quarantine to kind of keep yourself busy. I, like I've said before in other videos, I'm a hairstylist, I'm a makeup artist, so of course I can't go back to work. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. I think I said in the last video that I wasn't really sure where I wanted to take my channel. Like I like recording, but I feel, it stresses me out if I feel like I have to dedicate myself to just makeup or just hair. So I think I'm literally just gonna turn it into like my life. Like the things that I like, I like plants. I love outdoor stuff. Um, we love to go to the river. I love hair, I love makeup. And I love, 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 love like interior design and DIYing. So I kind of want to just base it around like what I'm actually doing and not really worry about it being like solely dedicated to makeup. Because honestly, I'm just over like makeup videos. I really don't watch them anymore. I'm 28. Um, a whole full fe face beat is just, it doesn't look flattering on me. I don't even use it on a lot of my clients. So it's just really irrelevant to my life. So yeah, that's about it. Anyways, like and subscribe if you're totally down for this new change of pace. And again, let me know what you've been doing down below for quarantine. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't ask me when it'll be because I don't know. Mm -hmm.